In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for the Na plus ion. This is the sodium ion. The first thing we should do is find neutral sodium, though, on the periodic table. We know it's neutral because there's not a negative or a positive sign after it. For neutral sodium, the atomic number, that's 11. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So we know the atomic number is 11, then the number of protons will be 11 as well. When we talk about ions here, like the sodium ion and neutral atoms, the only thing that's different is the number of electrons. So the sodium ion will still have atomic number 11, and it'll still have 11 protons. It's the electrons that are gonna be different. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. We find the electrons by looking at the atomic number again. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. So for sodium, we have 11 protons, we have 11 electrons. For ions, electrons are what are different. So we have the Na plus, really it's Na1 plus, we just don't write the one. This plus means we've lost a negative charge. So when we lose a negative charge, we become more positive. For ions, we lose electrons, they're negative. So we've lost one electron to form the sodium ion. So 11 minus one, that gives us 10. So for sodium, we have 10 electrons. This is Dr. B finding the number of protons and electrons for Na plus, the sodium ion. Thanks for watching.